Alrighty. You've got Brit with Slowbro, Rotom Heat, Mega Pidgeot, Cartana, Pink Gastrodon, and what do we got? Comfy? Comfy. Greg coming in with Volcanion, v Mega Venusaur, Zara Aura, Orbeetle, Cragonal, and Cobalion. So we're actually seeing every Pokemon Greg didn't use last fight against Mike is coming in now. Brit opens up with Mega Pidgeot. Orbeetle comes in with Frisk, which doesn't really do anything. Since uh, we all know that Mega Pidgeot has to have the Pidgeot tight. Can't not have it. Is Brit going to switch? Or is Greg going to switch? Greg has two reasonably solid answers to Mega Pidgeot, though I think Mega Pidgeot also has a fire attack, which would be a really good uh, thing to open with. Because it kind of uh, does nullify uh, Cobalion and Cragonal, as well as uh, Orbeetle. He switches to Cragonal. Did Brit read and do the fire attack? He did. He did, but Cragonal is really, uh, really tanky. Greg likes his Pokemon thick. Um, he likes his he likes his Pokemon being really beefy. Now he's got to hope that Cragonal is going to be fast enough to do something to Mega Pidgeot, and it wasn't. Unfortunately, Cragonal does die with nothing there. And here comes Zarazora, the Pokemon Brit is very afraid of. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Here's where the read comes in. Greg can predict a read and go for close combat on the Gastrodon. Or he can do the Thunder Punch or Thunder Attack. Yeah. To try and kill Mega Pidgeot. And it looks like Greg's using a Life Orb. He uses Knock Off. Which knocks off Heavy Duty Beats. Up, oh, Classic Brit using Will O Wisp. That is a classic Brit move. But Brit's entire strategy here really is to uh, is to kill Zarazora. I think Brit's very confident in his ability to continue on through this game with Zarazora being down. The lack of uh, heavy duty boost doesn't really mean anything, since uh, Greg's not somebody who really puts in stuff like spikes or stealth rocks. Here comes Comfy. Eats another knockoff. It loses its life orb. And now we're at... Ugh, a weird a weird spot here. Zerazor is out, but it's still burned. And it's only going to keep taking more and more damage. It looks like Orbeetle is trying to set something up. Greg was really, really uh, emphatic or excited, whatever the word is. He thought getting Orbeetle was really important to his strategy. I think I can... Almost a direct quote was, I needed Orbeetle for my strategy to work. I don't know what his strategy is, but he really wanted Orbeetle. That's the important takeaway here. So I don't know how Orbeetle is going to do things. I don't know what it does. It's got leftovers, so I guess it's supposed to be taking a little bit of damage. And Brit switching in Mega Pidgeot. Calm mind happens. All right, this is actually pretty good. I think Brit's super comfortable with the Mega Pidgeot with an absolutely fantastic name from my favorite video game ever. Baton Pass coming in. All right, Brit, what did we do? Whirlwind. Oh my God. Insane. Insane. <laughs> there, there goes the setup crazy the whirlwind to just get the buffed up uh volcanian in so i guess that's what orbital does it's got a baton pass here i haven't looked into it so i guess that's what it is okay so now we have a steel fighting type <laughs> uh against mega pidgeot now what is what's gonna happen it looks like hurricane again Stealth Rocks coming in. Greg probably gonna try and switch 
his Pokemon out so the next time that Pidgeot comes in, bad things happen. Nope, he lets it die. Ugh. Okay. Who's coming in now? Pokanian showing up. What's Brit gonna do? You gotta imagine that this fire water type probably has something to answer flying. Or Greg wouldn't have been so insistent on bringing it in. Which one of them's faster? I think Brit just hurricanes again. Right? Or maybe not. I don't know. Or whirlwind, whatever it is. What was the move? Oh, whirlwind. There it is. Not hurricane. I wonder if Brit just whirlwinds again. Or you can switch. Switching to Gastrodon is not the worst thing ever. I mean, it's going to absorb a lot of damage. But a U turns, and the balloon is popped. Switching into Comfy. Eating a steel. or a steel. a steam eruption. I don't know how fast Comfy is. Comfy doesn't seem very fast. It seems like maybe. oh! But it is. But it doesn't get a lot out of Draining Kiss. And Steam Eruption does take it out. Here comes Gastrodon. I love Gastrodon. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. Now what do we do here, team? I think we just Earthquake. Yeah, I think that's totally fair. Hopefully Brit has something that's going to deal damage to this Bug Psychic type. Rock Slide. Yeah, this is bad. Got recovered. It's toxic. That's pretty good. E effectively, it will start wearing down the uh, the Orb Beetle. Now, if I'm Brit, I think I do just send in Mega Pidgeot again, but I don't know. Maybe he reads the Baton Pass. Oh, Venusaur. Eats the Rock Slide. Yeah, I would have switched. So this is now going to be Mega Venusaur. I don't know. I do think they, uh, I would have been much more excited or more comfortable switching in Mega Pidgeot. And then getting a Whirlwind again. Here comes Kartana to eat the energy ball. Dang, look how much damage that dealt, though. So what's Kartana gonna do? Kartana wasn't a bad switch. Greg likes the toxic stuff. Ooh, really cool Psycho Cut. Hidden Power, probably Hidden Power Fire. And now we have a, a very weak Mega Venusaur. But Mega Pidgeot's probably faster then. And then you just do a flying type move? Yeah. Zarazora, I think that's a pretty obvious read. Hurricane brought it down real low. Now, again, we're put in the same situation of do we electric punch and risk the switch into Gastrodon, or do we close combat? This is the weird 50-50. The switch into Gastrodon. Plasma Fists again, doesn't want to risk it. Zarazora <laughs> put back into low. I think Brit's handling the Zarazora really well. These are like some tough 50-50s. Because if Greg doesn't go for the Thunder Punch and Mega Pidgeot is still in, he dies, right? And even more bad things happen. But Greg goes in first, gets the knockoff, has knocked off quite a lot of items. And Brit probably switching back to Mega Pidgeot. I can't see why you wouldn't. <laughs> Unless B Greg reads this read and switches into Volcanion, which he doesn't. So now you're Brit. You know a Baton Pass is coming. But he Hurricanes. Really good. Bug Buzz gets resisted. I think Brit's just going to Hurricane again. Yep. Really good. Really good. How's Greg going to get out of this one? It seems like the answer that's about to come in is going to be from Gastrodon. Gastrodon doesn't have leftovers anymore, right? 
It eats the steam eruption with storm drain. That's pretty good. And you gotta think that earthquake is coming in. There's no reason not to earthquake. Yep. And earthquake's coming in again. Yeah, Gastrodon was a real... Oh, no, he toxics. Okay, I guess Britt wanted to make sure that if Greg tried anything sneaky, uh, it didn't matter. It was gonna die. Really well played. Unfortunately, it came down to just those reads of whether or not... I mean, the Gastrodon pickup, right? Britt just picked up Gastrodon this week, and I thought that was a really good idea. But it really all did come down to the... The, the, the reads of whether or not Mega Pidgeot was going to be switched out for Gastrodon or not. And I don't, Gray didn't take the risk. And I don't think that's bad. Like, I don't think that's a bad decision. It just came to, to are you close combating or are you plasma fisting or whatever? I think that was a really good game. Uh, I think Brit handled the Zara Aura really, really, really well. I think that was pretty dope. The Kragonol didn't do anything, uh, which is a little bit unfortunate. Neither did the Cobalion, but I thought that was good. I thought that was some good stuff. It was a good game.